What are some interesting or fun Christmas traditions you follow? I get drunk and watch Die Hard with my pets the night of Christmas Eve. I'll be the lame person here without anything exciting or creative. For both myself and my wife we grew up in families that while spending Christmas together, there was always fighting, arguing and at best, anger slash tension under the surface that always put a dark cloud on what should be a happy time. When my wife and I met we indulged both our families and it was miserable. This wasn't even unique to Christmas, it was Thanksgiving too and any other get together. So last year we said fuck it, we're starting our own traditions. We cooked Thanksgiving our way and loved it. We stayed home on Christmas and loved it. Our kids got to open their presents first thing in the morning. We never got out of our PJs and I cooked a nice dinner for us. We relaxed and enjoyed ourselves and it was so special for our kids. This year we are changing one thing. My brother separated from the military earlier this year and moved back to our town. He's dressing up as Santa. Point of this story is that people hold on to traditions whether they're good or not. We decided rather than continuing all the toxic BS we would just make us happy. I was always a late to rise kid. Turns out I'm a night owl, in a very medical circadian sense. So most nights when I can, I go to bed late and rise even later. When I was a kid this was especially true, dad always has trouble making me wake up. But Christmas morning has a special power over me. I'm up at 5 or 6, well before anyone in my house. I'll happily go downstairs, sit by the tree, and slowly unfuck the cluster of Santa presents to me and my sister, organizing them carefully and quietly into two sides, so when we're opening we don't have to get all up in each other's stees. This was born of me not wanting her to touch my stuff but at this point it's just convenient. And even if I'm done early, I still just kinda sit there, hanging out, waiting for my family to rise, put the coffee on, get awake. Always worth it. Of course there was the one year where my socks were slick and I busted my whole ass trying to get there more quickly than quietly but we don't talk about that one. We used to do the elf on the shelf. That's until my dog decapitated him. These are all so much more wholesome than mine. My tradition was getting drunk at a strip club until 3 in the morning on the eve of Christmas Eve. And the day after Christmas as well. I'll raise my hand. Every Christmas Eve I get super loaded and watch Bad Santa. Hell of a time. Every Christmas Eve we order Chinese food for takeout. Yes, it was inspired by a Christmas story. We open pajamas on Christmas Eve. Then have chocolate milkshakes and cinnamon rolls in the morning. Then stockings. Then presents. Then watch home videos then big dinner. Well, we used to, and then. We all grew up, crying face. My mom makes several types of cookies at this time of year. One type are butterscotch cookies. Mom cuts the dough into shape with an assortment of cookie cutters, and I decorate them. She also asks what shape I think needs to be cut next. I'll usually have an answer ready, as I probably have an idea for how to decorate a particular shape. We've done this every year for as long as I can remember. I turned 31 this week and we still did this year's cookies last week. Build a Lego set and watch A New Hope on the 25th. My daughter is three and so far every year on Christmas she gets an ornament for whatever she was into that year and when she is on her own someday she can start her own tree with them. Our family use names of characters from our favorite TV shows in lieu of our own names when gifting presents. X, to Bart from Homer and Marge. 1, on Christmas morning we make these coffee whiskey milkshakes and eat pull apart cinnamon rolls. 2. I get a new ornament for the tree. My grandma used to get me the Hallmark bird ornament for the year. She passed away last year and now I buy it and put it on the tree to remember her during her favorite time of year. Clove oranges and steam pots. We grew up with parents who used to struggle with alcohol abuse. So they'd often pass out quite early on in the evenings after drinking most of the day. Once they went to bed, my sister and I would turn on the Christmas tree lights, make some hot chocolate and grab some fruit mince pies and then sit right next to the Christmas tree. 
we turn all other lights in the house off and be sitting in the light of Christmas together. Although it was a bit stressful and depressing at home, this always has been the sweetest memory of mine and my sister's tradition. The first year my parents were married they did so much traveling to appease family they ended up eating breakfast at a waffle house in their pajamas on Christmas day. I'm 20 and to this day, that's our Christmas day tradition. We put candy canes on the tree and take them off for the waffle house employees and tip 100%. It's my favorite tradition. One year we couldn't find where we stored our stocking the year before so we used pots and pans. Every year since we have continued to use pots and pans even after we found the stockings. As a 26 year old living alone, I still put out a pan. Everyone gets a flashlight in their stocking, because you can always use a good flashlight. Every New Year's we take our Christmas tree out into the yard and stuff it with all the wrapping paper from the presents. At the turn of the year we light the tree. If the tree burns well, it is supposed to mean the coming year will be a good one. Funnily enough the last year's trees were pretty lame, 2020 turned out a bummer. Coincidence, I know, but funny. We all cheer and set of fireworks and shoot guns. Make as much noise as possible to make the moment bombastic. My dad never lets anything go, he is not a hoarder but he hates to throw anything away. So for the past 10 years, we have taken something deep within the garage and given it to him as a gift and see if he knows that we already owned it. At my grandparents house, one of the grandkids is always Santa. My grandma has a stash of different Santa hats and each year a different grandkid does it. My brother is 22 and I'm 20, but we still do it because it makes my grandma happy. I have a tradition I do all by myself. I take a snowball from the first snow and put it in a container in the freezer. I wait a year until next winter's first snow, release the old snowball into the fresh snow, and start over again with a new snowball. We always let the cat to be the first one to open her present which is always just cat food so I can feed her fat ass. After opening the presents, my family makes balls of out the wrapping paper and we have a battle. It's always funny when Grammy and Popo get hit. Going on for 30 plus years. We don't label the gifts for our children. We assign a different wrapping paper to each kid and wrap all their gifts in that paper. Then on Christmas morning they each get one small gift in their stocking wrapped in their assigned paper. And that is how they find out what gifts belong to each person. They spend a couple weeks guessing who is what paper but there's no need to inspect the gifts because they don't know which ones are theirs. Sacrifice Virgins to Baal My cousin and I started watching Shrek 1 on Christmas Eve maybe a few years after it came out. We just didn't know what to watch and we didn't really have a lot of CDs at the time so we just picked that. My family moved out of the country and we still watch Shrek on Christmas Eve, separately because of the time zone difference, but still holding on to probably one of the most un-Christmas movie tradition ever. We haven't done this in many years, but my grandpa used to dress up as Santa after we had opened our presents. He would knock on the back door and we would always run to answer it. He would do the usual Santa routine and give us a piece of paper with a clue on it. It would lead to the next clue with a holiday rhyme of sorts to let us know where to search. We would race around the house looking in freezers, behind furniture, toilet lids, etc. The final note would lead us to a big gift. Sometimes for all to share, or bikes, and the like. Really nice way to end Christmas Day, you'll always remember that. When I was little, we made reindeer chow. We would mix together some oatmeal, sunflower seeds, and dried berries with some glitter, so Santa's reindeer could see it from far away, and would spread it out across the front yard on Christmas Eve. In the morning the birds would come eat it, but of course I never noticed it. For some context, my mom is a kindergarten teacher. For the last day of school before break she had to come up with a plan for a class Christmas party. She helped them all make their own reindeer chow. It makes me happy to think that something that was so special to me as a kid is now being passed on to the next generation, smiling face with hearts. We have a tradition that every article of clothing you unwrap on Christmas, you have to put on. 
Oh, so you just happened to get five sweaters from grandma? Well you're going to be wearing all of them until everyone is done unwrapping their gifts. PJs, underwear, socks, you name it, it's going on. Of course, it's all fun and games until someone gets you a packet of tighty whities two sizes too small.